In this episode, we are jumping on eBay yet again in search of toys I wish I still had from when I was a kid. So, stick around. Hello, fellow internauts, and welcome to Internauts Go! My name is Rob, and this is the show where we dive online looking for those nostalgic little nuggets that have left a digital imprint. This time, we are heading to eBay, looking for toys I wish I still had from when I was a kid. Now, this is a companion episode to one that aired previously this week, where I discussed toys I wish I still had from when I was a kid. So, if you're keeping score at home, which you're probably not, I just want to say that the episode that aired previously this week was the fifth installment of the series. This happens to be the fourth installment of the hunting portion of things. And yeah, I didn't begin the hunting portion until the second episode of the Toys I Wish I Still Had When I Was a Kid series. So it kind of bugs me that they're out of sync and I apologize, even though you all probably don't think about it as much as I do. But anyway, like I said, we are going to be jumping on eBay and hunting down these toys. I have a sinking suspicion that a couple of them are going to be top dollar, but I'm hoping some of the other ones might be a little bit cheaper. So without further ado, let's dive in to the interwebs and see what we can find. So here we go. I've already put in the search term and we are looking at price plus shipping lowest. Funny story. I just recorded this whole episode and I forgot to hit record on my capture card. So we're having to start over and I'm actually going with the lowest price, which I usually don't do just so I'll be reacting to something different and not the exact same thing and kind of faking my excitement and shock. Ah, so we're searching with different criteria just because I screwed up. So without further ado, here we go. So first things first, $1.99 for the Captain Power Soren Sky Sentry. Let me add that. That's our first hunt for this evening. So, $1.99 with $4.60 shipping. And I can tell you right now, without having to click on this picture, he's missing his accessories. And, yeah, that's a pretty fair price. But, if I'm going to commit, I want the whole shebang. I don't want just the figure. I want his head tail. I want his wings. He doesn't need his gun. I got plenty of substitute guns for him, but I at least want his head, tail, and wings. This does not have that. The price, that's not too bad, but yeah. So here we go. Just his head for $2.99. Just the gun itself for, you know, $9. Here's just the same gun for $9. Here he is without his accessories for $10. Well, I would go with this one opposed to this one then. $10 just for the gun. Over $10 just for the gun. $10 for the figure with none of the accessories. $7.99, no accessories. And believe me, we will get a close up look whenever we find one with the accessories. Right now, yeah, we're just blowing through these because there's not much to see. Here he is, missing half an arm and a hand for 12 bucks. Just a gun, no accessories, no accessories, just the gun. <laughs> just the figure with no accessories, no accessories. Just his head tail, $14. $14. Hey, at least they're like competing against each other. Yeah, at least this one shows it. No tail, no wings. $14, $15. Pretty disappointing. Here he is with the tail for 15 
with the tail for 15. Here's two of them for 15, but missing both of them are missing all their accessories. Just the tail for like 16. Oh my. Just the card. Just the package. Without the bubble. With stuff cut out of it. 15, over $15. What are people thinking? I mean, I could see if it was a full card, but they cut stuff out of this. Yes, the file card is at the top, and we will see that. Not to give a spoiler, and not to take away any of my uh, reaction, but we will see the package with the tail for 18 bucks. Just the tail. Two guns, three guns. This one got me, and this one I saw earlier. One wing. One wing for $19. Here's the head tail and the gun, but missing the wings. Here we got the file card portion. He has the head tail, but no wings. Here's just the wings. Now, I favorited this one already. Like I said, sorry for uh, not having the reactions this time, but maybe we'll speed through this episode, which is a bonus for you. Here we got two of them from Canada, and it'll end up being like 30 some dollars. One complete, one not complete. But that would be pretty cool. Like, one's the general, one's part of the army building. So I dig that. I favorited that because I might, I might look into that in one day in six hours. Now here's $30 for a complete one. Still, I'm not hating. $30. I mean, a strong possibility. Maybe not this go around, but in the future, I could possibly see spend, spending that on this creature because of how I feel about it. So, here is 30 for two non-complete ones. Here's a complete one that would end up being like 38 or $48. Here's four figures, none of them complete, for, what, $20, $51. Here's a complete one for $50. In the package, here, this is what I was talking about that I was not able to show in the uh, episode. But, here, hover to zoom. Here, look, he has an awesome file card. And believe me, that's all thanks to G.I. Joe and Larry Hama, that file cards became like a normal thing on a lot of toys. But, here we got like what he has going on in Ion I-beam generator, proton power system, replication system, digitizer staff, or laser gun. Here we have the other figures in the line, some of the vehicles and accessories, and here's a little blurb about how it interacts with your TV. Pretty nice. Uh, the package is a little gnarly looking. And look, it looks like it's dot matrix paper. That's cool. Very nice. I mean, $58 for it in package? Not hating. Here's 60 Here we go. 60 60 65 Here's oh, like $120. Yikes. 60 or best offer? Here. And then sponsored. $10. Buy it now. There's two incomplete ones. So... Sorry to just speed through it, but yeah, not a lot to see, and I think that two-pack is kind of calling me. I might have to look into that. Now, Black Star, and hopefully this search criteria stays. It does. We've streamlined your search results. Okay, so for around $10, you get this dude, Cadre. Who is like the bad guy's right-hand man, if I remember correctly. Comes with his helmet, his cape. Sorry for the beeping. That is the washer finishing up. Um, hey, this is a laundry room. It's not just a shtick. It's the real thing. It's a way of life. Anyway, 
We got some Trobits, a two pack for 10 bucks. No thanks. We got Neptul's Cape. Neptul, I think, was the water dude. Bad guy. Here, 10, let's see, 6, $11, this white knight. I know it's not who we're looking for exactly, but I'm curious to take a look at this. Doesn't come with any accessories. The one thing I'm looking at, though, I want to see is if his arms are poseable or if it's just like a glorified PVC figure, which it kind of looks like it is. He has his spark action, which would be his visor lighting up. I mean, I guess these move at the shoulder. These look like they may move at the hips. Got some weird discoloration on it. But I don't know if this part moved at all. Hmm. Pretty cool. I mean, 10 bucks. If I saw that at a flea market, I might be tempted to get it. Here we got the Palace Guard Birdman missing his accessories. Here's that Cadre dude again missing his accessories. Here's just a black star. I guess you can hang up in your house. Here's a demon. Looks like he's missing an ear. Man, that's not nice. Here we go, black star. It would be $15. Missing his sword. Let's take a look at him. I mean, the sword was awesome. And it came with a scabbard. I forgot to mention that in the episode. I mean, any toy that came like that was awesome. I mean, this hole in the back, is that where you'd stick the scabbard? I guess so. That would be kind of an odd placement, but I'll allow it. Here we got the main bad guy, Overlord, and his demon. It would be like $15 if you bid on it. 20 buy it now. There's that bird dude again. And he has the laser light sparky thing here's cadre missing stuff oh look at this you pick 11 to 20 dollars so let's see here let's take a look here is hold up 15 to 20 and i see black star here with his gear Dude, if you're selling that for 20 with $5 shipping, I might be all about it. Okay, it's not... Look at that. His shield, scabbard, sword, complete. Oh, this dude's missing both arms, but he comes with his trident. How's he going to use it? With his teeth? All these demons, these bird guards. Look, at they're all busted up. This one's complete, though. And look, a nickel. How much for the nickel? So let's see here. Out of stock. Not working laser light. Here is the Black Star figure. Is it just the figure? Yeah. A mm, little bit of wear and tear on them. It would be... What? Thirteen, five dollars, eighteen bucks. Ooh, yikes! He's seen some better days. Man, someone already bought that complete one. Mm. Sparking thing not working, but complete. I'd go for it. Here he is for seventeen dollars. Oh, Gargo's bat staff and a demon for seventeen something. Black Star 10, 17, 18 bucks. No accessories. Oh, that cat guy. Awesome. He would be 20 without any accessories. And no sparky thing. Just a trident for money. A one armed Neptool. A one armed Cadre. But he comes with a helmet. Be thankful for the little things, kids. 20 bucks. Laser light action. Black Star. 
missing his sword and stuff. I don't think this is a laser light one. We won't know until we see the back of the figure. Here's a picture. I thought it was the back. What are you doing to me here? Come on, eBay. Yeah. Oh, he is laser light. 20 bucks, but missing his gear. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, the sword, other than it not being glow-in-the-dark, seems to be something easy to make. I mean, possibility. Demons, three of them for 20 bucks. That's pretty cool, actually. Favorite. A headless... Gargo. Oh. Sorry, Gargo. Look at this red demon. Over 20 bucks for it, though. And they're yay big. They're not super big. Here's another black star. Laser light action. No accessories. Rather get the other one that's cheaper. Here's the shape. Shifting Elf Guy, Clone, I think his name was. Clone Cloud Cat, this says. Here's just an arm. <laughs> Demon, just a helmet. Ooh, an amp. And Cadre for 16, missing an arm. Mm. So, we saw that. So, the third uh, toy on the list from the last episode was Zor. From Masters of the Universe. So, lowest first, we have just the headpieces for Zor. Or Screech, apparently. Here's Zor itself for nine bucks. Free shipping. Wing looks a little weird. Maybe it's just how the photo is. Has both its feet. Okay, I take it back. The mechanism wasn't on its back to flap the wings. It was on its leg. I forgot all about that until seeing this. That you would hold it like this and then... Meep, 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 and the wings would flap. Got a little... little yowie there. But if I remember correctly, that part of the wing fit down into the groove there if you see it. So... It might be easily fixable, but missing all the gear, which that's fine, says damage, some wing tips cut, and paint one body. Wing tips cut. Oh, I see. Oh, never, never clip a bird's wings, let it fly. Here's another one of the harness things. A whole bunch of them, honestly. Here's a $10 one. It doesn't look that happy laying there. Broken foot? No thanks. That's half the fun, perching it on your fingers with his little feet. Very clean. Comes with one part of his harness and his perch. It would be $10. Favorite. Four days left. Here's a harness, a harness, a harness, a harness and a perch without the base. Harness, 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 perch without the base. Where's his head? The head's gone. Oh, the, what the? It's just the rubber wing part and the tail. No body. Figure. Rare. Dude, do you even know what you're selling? I mean, it looks beautiful, but without a body, what's the point? Dude. Here's another one. Orange replacement wings part. At least they labeled it correctly. This dude, it, it's rare. It's missing his body. That's pretty rare. Harnesses. 
just the wing part, wing part, oh my god, missing a foot harness. Here's 13 bucks. Missing the accessories. Here, let's take a look at this picture. Come on, load already. Ooh. Something went... Uh, no. What? Something going through its wing? Am I just not seeing something correctly? Man, battle damage! Does not look good. But, hey, on a cheap budget, it's not going to look perfect. Here's 14 without the accessories. But looks like we can get plenty of the uh, harness thing. Hmm. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. We will add that to a watch list. Now, what did I watch back here? Hopefully it wasn't one of the messed up ones. No, it's not. Two harnesses. Just the wings, just the wings, broken leg. Okay, we've seen all these. Harness, harness. A bent perch. So it looks like for 20 bucks you can get one without the accessories in fair condition. Yeah, a lot of them are missing feet. And a lot of people are just selling the wings. What's up with that? $17.99 has the armored harness thing. Hmm. Seller is away until today. I'm filming this on the 25th. Looks complete, looks pretty good. Paint looks mighty fine. So how much was this? 18 bucks, free shipping? I had to watch list. As long as it has the harness, I don't need the uh, perch. Very nice. Like I said, carry it around on my finger. I don't need no perch. Here's with Screech. Missing a foot. I can see that from here. Missing a foot. Screech complete-ish for 20. Here's both for about 20 with their harnesses. Wow, that seems pretty good. Oh, and look, they went with the original marked 1972. Yep, because it's the Big Jim Eagle. That's not too shabby either. It has three bids on it. It ends in nine hours. Ooh. I can't commit that soon, but I will add it to my watch list. So, okay, like I said, for about 20 bucks you could get a decent one. And you can just get one of these harnesses at a later date. Problem solved. Okay. Now for something that was very pricey, and I expected as much. APC G.I. Joe. Now, I'm going to tell you the pieces for it are going to be what we see mostly in this cheaper side of things. So we have the bumper for 15 steering wheel for 15 the front canopy piece for 15 15 Here's the... Uh, Cover for it for 17 steering wheel, steering wheel, steering wheel. Just the body, just the interior of the body for 19. Here it is missing the canopy and the cannon for 20. Or the cockpit part, windshield, whatever. Just the body, just the canopy, just the canopy canopy, the front part windshield, just the body, the seat belts. Look at that, two seat belts for 2350. 
just the Canon for 25 bucks. Oh my goodness. Missing the Canon. It's 28. Probably missing the seatbelt. So 28 plus 20 for the Canon. Looking at 40 some bucks, 50 something. Here is the G.I. Joe Mega Marines Monster Blaster APC. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at that. 20 bucks with $8 shipping. Is this complete? I'm not well versed in it to know if it is. But it looks interesting. From 92. I think it's maybe missing some cannons up there. Looks like it might be. Because it looks like there's bases for it. Hey, look at that guy. What up, y'all? This bump. Yeah. Yeah. When I looked at the best matches part, which is what I usually do, these were going for about 50 for a moderately complete one to like $200 for a complete one. Unfortunately, we do not get to see any in this listing, and I apologize for that, but take my word for it. It's not something I'll be able to get anytime in the near future. But it's always one of those things that whenever the weather breaks and I'm brave enough to go to the flea markets, maybe I'll run into one for a reasonable price. But eBay, you're definitely not going to find it for a reasonable price. I mean, you could piece one together for $50, and I saw one listed for about $50, mostly complete. So you're looking at $50 to get, you know, a pretty good display piece. So here we go for big money. And yet again, this will not be a very good um, interpretation of a complete village because we're looking at the best prices and unfortunately unless let me put in complete if my thing would work because it would just be bits and pieces of it like this 99 cents with six dollars shipping for c-3po's little throne thing I mean, we want to see the, the village itself. And complete didn't help because we got the same thing here. Oh, we got a complete net. Here it is. Complete your Ewok village with these spare parts they're selling. From 1073 to 5099 with an estimate of $23 shipping from the United Kingdom. Here is 80 some dollars for this without any of the accessories. Hey, at least it comes with a rope for them to climb on or the boulder attached to. The boulder's not even there. Here's one for 71.19 with $38 shipping. My goodness, why is shipping so much? Just put it in a box and send it. Especially when it's in pieces like this. I mean, this looks pretty good. I mean, it's got a good smattering of accessories. All the pieces are there. There's the fire pit. Here, let's get a close-up look so you know what I'm talking about. Of course, it takes forever to load. Hover to zoom. Hover to zoom. Always have trouble with that. Hover to zoom. Hover to zoom. I mean, you got the throne, the drum, the rock, the guardrails, the spit, the things that hold the spit up. I don't know what that piece is. It might be part of the rock thing. Got the elevator. Got the fire pit. Got the net. I mean, that's pretty tight. So that would be a hundred. You could buy it now for a hundred and thirty with twenty-two dollars shipping or bid on it for a hundred with the shipping still intact. Here's another one. Wow. Now, I mean, 
so 100, and, 100 plus I could get one again. I definitely don't have that kind of money laying around. There was one and I don't see it, probably because it wasn't listed as complete. They came with a bunch of figures, a speeder bike, like a build your own indoor set all in one. And that was like $150. If I had $150, I would definitely get that because it has a lot of the figures that I remember having. Came with a bunch of Ewoks. A lot of them I didn't have, but a couple I did have and I still have in my collection. 500 with the box and all. Here it comes with the catapult, the uh, wings. Mostly it looks complete. That is for sixty five hundred dollars. Here's four fifty with two speeder bikes, and it looks like C three PO, the biker scouts. I mean, I'm sorry that I had to reshoot this part, and it's kind of lacking. I mean, I had a lot of fun the first time we looked, and I wish you could have seen that footage, but I screwed up. It. It's known to happen every once in a while, and I apologize. But I kind of sped things up for you. Be thankful for that, like I said. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you got something to say, please leave a comment. I love reading them, and I love getting back to everybody. And if you enjoyed this episode or any of the ones that YouTube is recommending down here, please hit subscribe. And if you hit that little bell icon, you will be notified whenever there's a new episode. So until next time, thanks for watching. Keep being rad and stay dorky!